Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokinder Kumar and uh, in this video lecture we will be discussing gram-positive cell envelope. If you have seen my previous video, I have discussed the gram-negative cell envelope in detail. And in this specific video we will be discussing, let me write it down, uh, gram positive cell wall and uh, I have designed this illustration to explain the structure in detail. Before explaining this structure let me tell you a little bit about the gram positive cells. So bacterial cells they are divided into two categories based on the structure of their cell wall so if you have uh, a bacterial cell here I have designed this circular structure representing a bacterial cell okay and I can divide these uh, bacterial cells into two categories one will be the gram positive and second one gram negative and how I can do this based on their uh, structure of their cell wall. So if I write uh, R, if I design the illustration like this uh, for gram positive and this is for gram negative, basically I can, I can design the cell wall of gram positive as bilayered structure and cell wall of gram negative as triple layer structure and if you have seen my previous video uh, there you will you will find that the <clears throat> the structure is basically three layered so the outer layer is known as the outer lipid layer or I'm just gonna write outer layer and then you have peptidoglycan layer and after that you have inner layer because of this you get this space that is known as the periplasmic space and that periplasmic space is basically absent in case of gram positive in gram positive you have peptidoglycan layer and the inner layer or just the membrane so this is the plasma membrane here right and I hope that you know that plasma membrane is phospholipid bilayer so you basically have uh, okay so let me let me redo this two important components head here and the second one is the tail and because of their hydrophilicity and hydrophobicity they are arranged like this so head is basically hydrophilic in nature and tail, this tail region is hydrophobic in nature. Okay? So this is how you will have phospholipid bilayer. So this is the layer one and the second layer is this. I hope now it is clear that you are going to have two layers. So that is why the cell membrane is bilayered structure like this all right so basically this is the introduction uh, of the bacterial cell wall structure where you will have uh, three layer in case of gram negative gram negative and two layers in case of gram positive that is basically i have designed here okay you can see this is the peptidoglycan layer including uh, lipoticoic acid and this one is the membrane part right so you have two layers and in in this specific structure you will have different different components first component let me change the color so that it's not confusing Component number one, let's go from here. 
one I already discussed, that is the cell membrane. Second structure is the membrane protein. Now, membrane protein, I have discussed this structure in gram-negative cell wall video. In detail also, I'm also going to tell you what is the role of these membrane proteins. Membrane proteins plays uh, an important role in in many many bacterial functions like in this case if that is the porin protein porin protein it will play an important important role in case of uh, the exchange of molecules right so molecules if they want to go outside or if some of the important molecules they want to go inside so these proteins are going to play an important role as channels so they have this specific uh, you know portion of these proteins where solute can solute molecules can move from inside to outside or outside to inside we'll go into the detail of uh, porin protein functions uh, but here i just wanted to introduce the porin proteins and there are many different kinds of protein there are efflux pumps in in the bacterial cell membrane they play an important role in getting rid of the antimicrobial agents and there are other proteins like penicillin binding proteins and there are variety of these proteins right so membrane proteins they are important part of the bacterial cell wall in case of gram positive cells too then you have peptidoglycan layer in this case basically you have a thick multi-layered peptidoglycan structure okay so this is important and now you need to understand the structure of peptidoglycan here you can see it's slightly complex but I have tried to make this illustration as simple as possible uh, and you can see two important molecules NAG and NAM. You need to remember the names of these two molecules. NAM is N-acetyl muramic acid. NAG is N-acetyl glucosamine. These are the basic unit of peptidoglycan structure with tichoic acid. And if the tichoic acid is embedded in the lipid membrane here, so you can see this tichoic acid is extending from the lipid membrane. We'll call this tichoic acid as lipotichoic acid. And if the tichoic acid is present here in the peptidoglycan membrane or peptidoglycan layer, you can see the, lip, the tichoic acid is just tichoic acid. There is no lipo or lipo word attached to it because, because of the nature of the mem membrane which is lipid right you know that it's phospholipid bilayer the lipotichoic acid are termed as lipotichoic acid because they are attached to the uh, plasma mem membrane okay so as you can see this is the uh, molecular structure of gram negative uh, sorry gram positive cell and i have already discussed the gram negative cell structure which is triple layered and the major difference is the uh, this particular layer which is peptidoglycan layer it's single layered in case of the gram negative cell so i'm gonna write thin here okay so that you can remember and in this case you have multi-layered structure so it's very thick so this is an important point to remember all right so i think i have covered most of it and uh, if uh, i want to give you some of the examples and examples will be streptococcus pyogenes streptococcus pneumoniae staphylococcus aureus and pterococcus these all are the examples of gram positive cells and what are the different kinds of questions you know in in the exams examiner 
is going to ask uh, maybe the structure of ultra structure of the gram positive uh, cell wall or maybe uh, examiner can ask you that uh, you know what is the function of individual components in the bacterial cell or what is the function of gram positive cell wall and uh, there are some other interesting questions too so for example they can specifically ask about the ticoic acid difference between lipoticoic acid and ticoic acid here right uh, right here and uh, also membrane proteins what are the function of membrane proteins so I want you to maybe make notes of your own where you have uh, uh, described what is the major difference between gram positive and gram negative cell wall structure what is the ultra structure of the uh, gram positive cell wall right so let me write here structure I'm still learning how to write using touchpad so excuse me <laughs> if I'm having trouble so structure and then the function of individual component and what is the function in general of the cell envelope these are some of the important topics or some of the important points that you need to remember also maybe you know the structure of the plasma membrane yeah so I can write it here plasma membrane great right so I hope now you have a good idea of the structure of the gram positive cell wall and you know the major difference between the gram negative and the gram positive cell wall I'll bring same kinds of illustration uh, my self-made illustrations to describe different topics in microbiology I'm also covering different topics in biochemistry genetics and uh, you know I, I'm gonna use a lot of this uh, writing to explain uh, different topics so I want you to stay tuned and do not miss any lecture any tutorial because you know when you listen to these videos or watch these videos uh, sometimes you pick up things very quickly because I'm using illustrations I'm using writing I'm describing things and I, I hope that these are going to help you in your studies okay so please stay tuned it's gonna help you uh, in in prepare, uh, preparing yourself to different exams competitive exams and also it's gonna help me to promote my channel so with that note I'll just conclude this presentation and I'll see you in my next video where I'm going to bring more interesting topics and we're gonna discuss a lot of uh, biology related topics all right till then see you take care thanks